All right, what's up, guys? It's Stratos, and today we're at San Francisco, round two of the 2024 Supercross season. This is actually Steezy MX track. We're gonna start out, so we're gonna do Steezy's track first, and then we'll go on and do uh, JM's later. So yeah, here's my first couple laps here. I honestly have not done this track at all. Uh, so we'll see if I can actually do an okay lap or not. We're on the KTM 250. Still rocking the 250 class this year. Probably, de actually, definitely not going to move up to 450 this year. Uh, the goal is to stay on the 250s, run the whole season, uh, do some outdoor, and then maybe by the end of the year, if I'm close to, you know, maybe a thousand hours or whatever, uh, I will. Oh my gosh, it's a big triple. Survive. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year I'll be close to a thousand hours and then uh, maybe I'll look into doing some 450 stuff but for now definitely just sticking with the 250s but uh, yeah so this is Steezy's track that he came out with kind of like a little uh, preview wow that sand right there is tough um, just kind of get some prep in before we go into the ARL rounds uh, as some of you might know uh, ARL uh, basically releases the tracks two hours before qualifying starts and that's pretty much all the practice that you get before you go into a race session so uh, it's kinda cool that we get to practice a little bit on these tracks um, sometimes the scaling is a little bit off but this one is a little bit wider but honestly feels pretty nice Oof second time I tried doing that line um, the second one that we're gonna be looking at is JM's track and it's a little bit bigger scale than this one um, also kinda like the textures more to be honest with you no offense it's easy I know you watch my videos but uh, honestly I think if somebody can make by somebody I mean like probably these guys the scaling was just a little bit smaller I think It'd be even better. Backflip. Let's go. All right. Still haven't done a clean lap yet, so I, I do apologize. It's kind of what I get for just hopping on and uh, trying to do a lap here. Uh, Cz, I will say, thank God you did not make your tough blocks uh, collidable. It's pretty nice whenever you're just trying to practice and you don't have to worry about stupid tough blocks. Uh, probably my biggest complaint about this track, though, is uh, we don't have a uh, Stratos banner anywhere. Come on, man, what's up with that? Nah, I'm just kidding. I haven't asked you or anything, so. <laughs> but yeah, if I can get some uh, Stratos stuff blocks, that would be sick. Feel free to hit me up on Discord. I think I have you added on there. If not, uh, I've definitely seen you in Kelso server before. But yeah, uh, overall, not a bad job on the track. Uh, as I said a little earlier, the scaling is a little bit bigger. It's very tough to get the scaling right on these tracks because of the uh, track previews that they come out with. It's kind of hard to tell. And even the track previews rarely ever match the uh, final product of the track. Um, I'd say probably my biggest gripe on this track is the textures. Uh, I think a lot of people kind of been complaining about the textures with the uh, Steezy tracks and I know it's probably because he uses the uh, track map as the uh, kind of like a top-down view to create the track and I think that's just kind of how the textures are I personally don't mind them that much uh, it'd be I don't know nicer if they were just regular you know dirt textures but uh, I'm not a track builder, so I don't know how hard it actually is. I assume extremely difficult, but yeah. Let me finish up this lap, and then we'll uh, head on over to JM's uh, San Francisco round number two. Hit the finish line. Alright, so let's head on over to JM's round two. Alright guys, so we are now at JM Supercross track. First thing you notice is the textures are basically your default for both so ones which look a little bit nicer uh, not to not to dog on uh, Steezy or anything but 
Here we go, we'll do a few laps. Um, a little bit steeper faces on the jumps. It's kind of nice. Uh, berms. These berms are absolutely incredible. I honestly wish the ARL berms were more like this. They really hold you in with these uh, new OEMs. Probably, that's probably the biggest thing I've noticed about these OEMs is they love the banking of the uh, corners. So the more that they're banked, obviously the more, I guess, compression you get into the corner and the more grip that they have. The current aerial ones are a little bit flat in my opinion, but uh, they're not terrible by any means, but they do cause you to kind of randomly front tuck sometimes, even though you hit the corner. The exact same that you hit as a set exact same way that you did the lap before and uh, yeah so JM you did a really good job on this track scaling um, scaling is a little big on the jumps I think still as far as the ARL standard like the, the height of these doubles are pretty crazy um, especially this triple right here uh, I do like the track width and just kind of the overall height, not height, but the uh, just the track itself. Uh, stadium, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's a little bit tighter, a little bit less area used, which I like. And I get that triple right there. Um, same thing, missing the Stratus banner, or Stratus uh, Tough Blocks. If you can hook me up, I will definitely appreciate it. If not, don't worry about it. But yeah, uh, I think this is probably the one that I'm going to be practicing on the most. See the whoops are pretty difficult. Let's get a little weird bounce. Now the stadium's not exact, as you can see. It looks like uh, he reused some of the grandstands which I, I don't know what they came from maybe the I don't think they came from uh, Grand Prix Simulator or Grand, Grand Prix Bikes <laughs> Grand Prix Simulator it's the name of the game uh, I do think these are like reused models but I think they look pretty nice it doesn't have to be in a stadium I've, I've seen track previews that are just built outdoors so as long as we get a really good track I think we're good. Uh, also, that roller right there, I don't remember being on Steezy's. So, not sure what that's actually going to be like in the race tomorrow or today. Well, when you guys are watching this video. So, we'll see. Personally, I have not seen the uh, track map on the uh, Supercross website. So, I don't know how close these actually are to it. But at least the general layout is pretty much the exact same. KTM just eating the whoops. Probably be another KTM week for everybody. Nice little inside rut right there. Yeah, JM, great job on your track. Steezy, you did a great job as well. Not knocking you by any means. I just think uh, this one's probably going to benefit me more for uh, practicing for the race today. Which brings us into the race today. I will be live streaming it as i trying to go and do all the uh, races this year or this season. So I'm going to try to live stream every single one of them. So be sure to stay notified on my channel. Uh, race starts at I think 4 p.m. Central Time. So I will probably start streaming hopefully before 3. Depends on if I can get off work or not. I'm going to try my best to. If not, it'll definitely start by 4. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it as always. Uh, I guess one last thing before I send off is I will be releasing my setups that I use for the uh, amateur season. Oh my gosh. So if any of you guys would like to try out my setups, be sure to become a channel member. It's only $1.99 a month. 
and you will get full access to all of my setups that I use for this season, as well as what other goodies I throw in there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.